BC, we have an abundance and some might say an overabundance of water. Add mountains to the mix and you have the perfect condition to generate electricity. We all know electricity comes from dams, but exactly how does it get from the dam to our homes? And how much electricity are we using in this region anyhow? And why are we importing electricity when we have so much? Coming up, we're going to answer all these questions and more. Hi, and welcome to Ask an Expert. I'm Suzanne Hepburn. Here at our production office, we use electricity for computers, lights, monitors. Just like at home, it's an important part of our day. It's pretty miraculous when you think about it. Electricity at the flick of a switch. So today I thought I'd find out more about how electricity gets here. I called BC Hydro to find this out, and they told me to come here to these high voltage power lines. I'm to meet Bill Wheeler, a substation manager. Hi, Bill. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. So these are high voltage power lines? Yes, these, these particular lines are 230,000 volts and they, they come from the substation which is over there at First and Boundary and uh, they take the power, some of the power over to the North Shore. So where does our power come from? Basically from our generating plants that are situated in our two main areas of generation are in the Peace River and through the Columbia which is the Columbia River in the Kootenays. Can you tell me how the electricity is generated at the dams? Well, we use hydroelectric power. Hence, that's where our name comes from. We take the water in through the intakes. It comes down through runners and through the penstocks. It spins the turbine, which spins the rotor part of the generator, which cuts the magnetic lines, which produces the power. It's produced at 13,800 at that level. And then we take it to a transformer and step the voltage up. Okay, so, so what happens in the transformer? The transformer, you, you don't get anything out of a transformer that you don't put in. So we just change the ratio of the voltage and the current. In order to understand what Bill is telling us, we need to understand current, voltage and watts. Current is the flow of electrons along the wire, while voltage is the force behind the current. The combination of voltage and current is called watts, which is how much work the electricity can do. The transformer actually transforms high voltage and low current into lower voltage and higher current to be used. What are the power sources for Greater Vancouver? We have two main substations in the Lower Mainland. One being Meridian Substation, which is located on the Western Plateau in Coquitlam, and, and one in Surrey called Ingledow Substation. So power from the transmission lines comes here? Uh, yes, this is our uh, Hornpain substation situated on the Vancouver Burnaby uh, border. And what you see behind us is our 230 kV switchyard. From, from this part of the uh, switchyard we distribute to our uh, power to other substations to feed the downtown core. And, and we also, if you look behind us, we have a transformer over there that transforms the power from 230,000 to 60,000 volts, which is also distributed to other substations, in, in uh, smaller substations in, in the area. Now, how many substations are there in Greater Vancouver? Including the Fraser Valley, there's somewhere around 50. Oh. Various sizes, some are just strictly distribution, like the power comes in and then we get distributed to the houses. Other substations, bigger ones like this, are, uh, we transmit, we feed those stations from here and then we also feed residential load from here as well. So basically it goes from this substation to other substations and then down onto the right. families and, the and fam businesses. Yes. When, when the power is distributed to uh, from the substation out into the residential area, there's smaller transformers up on the poles or those pad mounts that you see in front of some people's houses. Those are stepped down to 120, 240 which goes into the house. Do we produce enough electricity in the region to meet our needs? Yes, however, we are a net importer of uh, power. Okay, and why is that? Well, it's more for economic reasons. In hydroelectric power, we can shut down our units without a lot of wear and tear and, and economical hardship, whereas cold fire plants, nuclear plants, it's more economical for them to once they're run, to run them continuously. So we will import their power off peak hours in the middle of the night, say at a lower rate, 
than it would cost us to generate, and then we we buy that off of them, and then and then, and then when the morning comes, we turn ours back on, and because their price rises, it's a okay. price. It's all to do with price. Does British Columbia sell electricity as well? Oh yes, we actually uh, sell quite a bit of power. Our main customer is the United States, mm -hmm. and we're hooked up to the to the grid, which runs from BC, Alberta, all the way down to the Mexican border. Residentially speaking, what do we use most of our electricity for? That would be on the appliances that generate, cause the, use the most heat on. That would be your clothes dryer, your dishwasher, your oven. Thanks so much, Phil. I'll definitely think about all of this next time I turn a light on. You're welcome. All right. Take care. It's also worth thinking about how much energy we consume in North America. This satellite photo of the world at night that was created by NASA is a pretty good illustration of how energy is being consumed globally. That's us there. I've certainly enjoyed learning more about how electricity is distributed in Greater Vancouver. If you've wondered about something and would like us to find an expert to answer your question, give us a call at 604-436-6794 or email us at sustainableregion at gvrd.bc.ca. I'm Suzanne Hepburn. I'll see you next time.